The result of the presidential rule referendum is very important. If it's in favor of presidential rule, then it will create big chaos. Shevin Akinsi, EEC. Well, Turkey's industrial production came in much weaker than expected this morning at just 0.7% year on year. What are your thoughts on this latest data release? Well, actually, it was quite surprising for the market, but we should expect that because the growth profile in all over the world is not very good anymore. So this figure is quite um, below expectations. Uh, if you, they gave the seasonal adjusted figures. Then, they, when you make a seasonal adjustment, it is minus. You know, it fell by 1.1 percent in in uh, April. But if you do not make a seasonal adjustment, you see a, you see a 0.7 percent rise. Um, I'm expecting actually this uh, slow growth profile, slow low uh, industrial production figures to continue in the next two or three months. Okay, and Turkey's new government has recently been installed, with President Erdogan set to assume full control. His new handpicked prime minister, Benali Yildirim announced that his most important duty would be to move the country to presidential rule. What is your economic assessment of this political change? This is very important as political developments uh, really um, sharply affect the markets, I should say, because, for example, last year in election times, we see very sharp moves in dollar Turkish lira parity in um, stock exchange markets in Turkey, in Istanbul as well. So this will be very important. On the other side, as you mentioned, uh, the, it seems like, you know, it seems to, to all of the investors and to me that the priority of the government is not anymore the economy uh, in Turkey. The priority is to bring a presidential um, regime in Turkey, presidential rule. So this is very important. If it is there will be a um, result of in favor of her presidential rule. This will create big chaos, uh, big social um, impact in Turkey, even a social debate. So this will be very bad for the financial markets. I'm expecting um, maybe the, the presidential referendum will be taken towards the end of this year. And this will be very important because we also have United States elections at that time, and there will be an increase in um, Fed in, uh, in United States interest rates. So my expectation for the for the U.S. stock share parity is about 230 uh, through the end of the year if they take this presidential rule referendum. Lastly for today, which economic indicators will you be looking out for in the short term that have the potential to significantly impact Turkey's economy? Yeah, actually this Friday they will announce the first quarter growth figures in Turkey. The, for the first quarter, the figure will not be very bad because we heard very good um, industrial production figures for the first three months of this year. So the expectation is around 4.5% increase in the GDP growth rate year-on-year -year basis. Now, my expectation is um, between 3.5% to 4%. So it, 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 it probably will come around 4%. So this will have a good impact, but not too much, like maybe at most 1% for the, for the, for the, for the, for the financial market on, in a positive way. So on the other side, I will go, I'm going to look at the inflation figures. Inflation data are very important for me because I know that there was, there was a very good um, favorable base effect for April and May. And the inflation figures, especially after June, are very important because the Central Bank of Turkey is keen on decreasing the interest rates. And this will have surely impact on um, exchange rates and on, on inflation rate as well. Uh, maybe it will go towards 9%, we do not know, but it will for, for sure will be about 7% in the common, coming months. Thank you, Sivin. Be sure to check back with Jugoscopy TV for more updates throughout the week. Goodbye for now.